All right, so we uh, we want to add three numbers, and if you remember back in the history video that I did, I mentioned the fact that the computer can't multiply numbers. All it could do is add numbers very quickly, and uh, if we did three times five, it would have to take the go five plus five, save the ten, then bring the ten back in, and then add more fi five more to it to come up with fifteen. So. It can only do two thing, uh, add two numbers at a time uh, when we're doing it. Now you'll see when we do opcodes and operands later on, it does allow us to multiply and divide, but that's the computer taking care of all that. Uh, but let me explain to you what we have here, and every single one of your opcodes and operands will work the same way. Is we first we put our numbers in that we're going to use in the program, then we move those numbers to uh, registers in the central processing unit. Once they're there, then we do what I call cooking them, and that is add them, multiply, divide, whatever we're going to do. And the final thing you'll do is take your answer and put it right back into random access memory. So <clears throat> these numbers are put into RAM, moved into the CPU, we add, subtract, multiply, divide, and then we move it back into random access memory. So let me just quickly go through each of the steps here. So the first thing we do is since we're adding 3, 5, and 2, we must put them into separate places in memory and we signify that by M1, M2, M3. Well, computer can't do anything with them in RAM, it has to be in the CPU. So the next step we do is we move, MMR means move memory to register, and I'm going to take the 3 that's in M1 and move it to register 1. Take the 5 that's in M2 and move it to register 2. Then take the 2 that's in memory 3 and move it to register 3. So now I have 3, 5, and 2 in registers 1, 2, and 3. Now I can start adding or multiplying whatever I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the register 1 where it has a 3 and register 2 when it has a 5 and tell it to add those two together. Well, after it adds those two together, it's going to put the answer, which is 8, into the accumulator. Well, the next step is, well, what are we going to do with that accumulator 8? And we're going to use the, um, we're going to use the acronym MAR, which stands for Move Accumulator to Register, to take that 8 and put it into register 4, because we have to save it and then use it later. Okay, so now we have 8 in register 4. The next line says, take the 2 that's in register 3 and add it to the 8 that's in register 4. So now it's going to be 8 and 2 and that's going to be 10 and that's going to be sitting now in the accumulator. So now what are we going to do with the 10 that's in the accumulator? Well, we have to do one of two things, either move it to a register like we did up here, or since that's our final answer, whenever you have the final answer sitting in the accumulator, you simply move accumulator to memory, and we'll stick it in our next memory location, which is one, two, three, is memory location number four.